Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shana Jannat, and today I will talk about female external genitalia. So let's begin. I will make a diagram then show you the structure of female external genitalia. Let's make a diagram. So this upper part, this upper part, this part is called mons pubis okay mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by skin and pubic hair these are pubic hair so this area is called mons pubis mons pubis Now just below the mons pubis, two lip-like structure present here. Okay, and this lip-like structure, these are called labia majora. Labia means lip and majora means big. So these are also contain fat and hair follicle or pubic hair. So these are labia majora. Labia majora are fleshy folds of tissue. Labia majora. Now, just below the labia majora, another two lip like structure present here. These are labia minora. Uh, labia minora are paired folds of tissue just under the labia majora. These are smaller than labia majora, so these are called labia minora. Okay, labia, um, so these are labia minora. Labia minora. Labia majora contains fat and pubic hair, but labia minora, they don't contain any fat or uh, pubic hair. They are just folds of tissue. Now, uh, this is the upper junction of or meeting point of labia minora. Here, another uh, tiny structure, a tiny finger-like structure present here. And this tiny finger like structure called clitoris. So the clitoris is a tiny finger like structure and it, it contains erectile, uh, erectile tissue. Okay, it contains two bundles of erectile tissue. Now, this. Uh, labia uh, space between labia minora this part this part is called a vestibule this yellow space this yellow space called vestibule now just below the clitoris here one opening present here or orifice present here okay and this is called external uh, external urethral orifice this uh, through this orifice urine come out this is external urethral orifice now below the urethral orifice another opening present here and this opening this is called external vaginal orifice vaginal external vaginal orifice So this is vaginal orifice. Uh, vaginal orifice uh, partially covered by a membrane called hymen. So this is hymen. Hymen. 
hymen is uh, often uh, torn during the first sexual intercourse but it can also broken by sudden falls sports uh, like uh, exercise uh, swimming uh, horse driving like these types of activity okay also may cause the broken of hymen now another uh, opening present here and this is called anus anus and anus is not the part of female external genitalia now space between um, uh, female external genitalia and anus this space is called this space called uh, perineum perineum now this is vaginal orifice side of the vaginal orifice uh, two glands present here okay one two these uh, two glands uh, are called birth lane glands these glands are called birth lane glands okay and birth lane glands helps to uh, lubrication during intercourse birth lane glands so this is the structure of female external genitalia this is mons pubis mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by skin and pubic hair then just below the mm, mons pubis two lip like structure present these are labia majora labia majora are fleshy folds of tissue just below the mons pubis and cover uh, surround the vaginal orifice then labia minora labia minora are paired folds of tissue just under the labia majora then this is the junction upper junction of labia minora here one finger like structure called clitoris then urethral orifice then vaginal orifice vaginal orifice partially covered by a membrane called hymen and side of the vaginal orifice two glands present and th these glands are called vertlin glands so we can see in a female there is for urine and for reproduction there is two different way okay and uh, but in male suppose this is penis through this way uh, urine come out okay urine come out and also sperm come out so for um, for sperm and for urine there is same way okay but in female for urine and for reproduction there is different way two pathways okay uh, through the um, uh, through the vaginal orifice uh, menstrual blood come out and during normal delivery uh, baby also come out through the vaginal orifice and this is also uh, used for sexual intercourse so this all for today i hope you understand if you have any question let me know in the comment below see you next time till then take care bye bye